So today I want to talk about body image. Hello my honeys, it's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and I'm the creator of the Slim on Starch program. Go to healthyemmy.org to learn more about how you can join the Slim on Starch program. Also make sure to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I upload a new video every Wednesday and Saturday here on the YouTube and you can be a part of the Healthy Honeys. Let's just get right into it. We're talking about body image today. I want you to start by thinking about and picturing the people in your life that have had the biggest impact on you. I think of my teachers, I think of my coaches, I think of my mom and dad. Think about these people, take a minute and truly think, who are the people in your personal life that have impacted you the most, that have taught you the most, that you love the most, that you have enjoyed spending time with the most? Think about them and think about people that you don't even know that have taught you things. They've been mentors without knowing that they, you've been their mentee. Think about these people. Why is it that they've played such a big part in your life? Why is it that they've been so impactful in making your life worth living and teaching you and giving you reason to smile and to laugh? You know, I think about my best friends, my family, and all of these people that have been so important to me in my life that I love spending time with. Think about what they look like. Is the reason why you love them, why you've learned from them, why you think of them as smart, why you enjoy their company, does it have anything to do with what they look like? No, it's because of how they made you feel. Our bodies are just a shell that we experience life in. And I have people that come to me and they say, oh, I mean, I want to look like this. I want to fit in this size of jeans. I want to wear this dress. I want to be able to wear the clothes that I love, blah, blah, blah. This is why I want to lose weight. And when we really get down to it and I say, why do you want to lose weight? When we dig and we dig and we dig, we find that the reason why you want to lose weight, the reason why you want to look a certain way has nothing to do with what your eye sees, but it has to do with how your heart feels. Because when you say, well, the reason why I want to look that way is because it would make me feel better. It all comes down to how you feel. And so if the end goal is really rooted in how you feel, why are we focusing on what the manifestation of that is when that's going to be fleeting anyway? Our looks are going to fade. Someday this hair is going to be gray, the skin is going to sag, and I'm going to have wrinkles up the wazoo. And that's the beautiful part of aging gracefully and going through life and being lucky enough to make it to the point where my hair does gray and my face does sag and I do get those wrinkles. How lucky will I be to have made it that far and experienced that much life and met so many people and learned so many things? Our body is going to change throughout life. This is a part of aging gracefully. And our body is going to change in terms of our weight too, but that is temporary. Everything related to our what we look like is temporary. We're able to change our weight. I could cut off all my hair right now. I could dye my hair. If I want, if I had saggy skin one day, I could get a surgery and I could fix it. It's all temporary, but how you feel, that's something that's gonna last. And no matter what you look like, how you feel is really never going to change because you're never gonna be thin enough. You're never going to be, you're never gonna have full enough cheekbones or tight enough skin or long enough hair or full enough hair or long enough legs, all of these things. It's never going to be enough. There are seven core instincts of the human brain and one of them is seeking. As humans, we are always seeking for more. It's an instinct. This is why when you lose weight, you want to lose a little bit more. Or when you get something done to your face, you want to get another something done. Once you find a great piece of clothing, you're happy for a few days, but then you're on the hunt for the next one. As humans, we have the seeking instinct, which means we will never 
be satisfied. Once you reach your goal weight, you're gonna wanna lose another pound. Once you finally get that promotion, you're gonna be looking for the next one. We're never fully satisfied. So why are we exhausting ourselves trying to satiate our need that is never going to be satiated because of our human instinct? This is why you see these beautiful Victoria's Secret models, these gorgeous women who end up getting surgeries and they're getting all this stuff done. You go, what is happening here? They're beautiful because they're humans and they have that human instinct. This is the way that we are built. So take a deep breath and let go of that constant desire to be focusing on getting the best body and making your body perfect and this and that and you will never be satisfied. That is the truth. So instead, focus on how you feel. Our bodies are just a shell that we experience life in. We think that we always have all eyes on us. Everybody is staring at us. They're staring at how big our legs are and how not flat our tummy is and how we're having a bad hair day. We have a zit on us. No, they're not. There's a psychological phenomenon called the spotlight effect that says exactly this, that we think that everybody's looking at us, but the reality is that nobody really cares about us. So at the end of the day, we need not focus on what we look like. We need to focus on how we feel. Like I said earlier, our body is just a shell that we experience life in. What we wanna focus on is making sure that we have the healthiest shell possible so that we can go out and experience life. If you are trying so hard to make your body look a certain way, to get down to a certain weight, to try to figure out the weight thing, having all these surgeries and all this stuff, and you're homebound because of it, if you're having surgeries, then you can't leave the house for a few days, or if you are dieting like crazy and you have no energy to go out and you're stuck in your home all day, what's the point? The point of having this quote unquote healthy body and looking great is so that you can go out and experience life, but you're not even doing that. I ask my clients a lot who they're at such a healthy way and they say, but I want to lose like five more pounds, I want to lose like two more pounds. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Once you're in a healthy body, a clean bill of health is absolutely priceless. We need not ask for more than this, but I know it's hard and it's easier said than done. This is just the way that humans are. We need to have a healthy body. So make health and peace of mind your goal. Otherwise, you're gonna be thirsty and never ever quenched because you're a human. It's easier said than done though, right? All of this. I'm sure you're listening to this video and you're like, this all makes sense, but Emmy, you just told me that I have this instinct. I have this primal instinct to be seeking, so does that mean I'm just gonna be seeking for better all the time? Well, yeah, it does, but being aware of that primal brain really changes the game. Because if you get to your goal weight and then you get on the scale, you see your goal weight and then you go, but what if I can lose five more pounds? Being able to just even recognize that part of your brain is so, so powerful. Because you're able to step back and realize that these are two separate things here. There's you and then there's your primal brain. And you can say, that's the primal brain. That is the human instinct in me that's always going to be seeking. And I can quiet that down because the real me has reached where I wanted to be and now I can rest, now I can breathe, now I can relish in my healthy shell that I experience life in. Any other chats that you want me to have on this topic, let me know in the comments. If you have made it to this point in the video, comment peace. I want you to comment the word peace because that is our goal here, for you to find peace in this crazy, crazy life. We're always gonna be seeking more. So take a deep breath, realize that that is your human instinct and just find peace in every day. Your body is just a shell that you experience life in and you wanna have the healthiest shell possible so that you can go out and experience this life. I love you, honey, and I'll see you in my next one. Woo! Woo!